when you look into these four things and when you put these four things into practice i tell you your spirit man will start growing the anointing upon your head will start growing more and more that you should grow more and more that you should closer to god more and more you should fast more and more you should seek his face you should and that helped us to pray more that helped us to seek god more that helped us to grow in our mind I want to talk to you today about the anointing how to grow in the anointing you know growth is one thing which is very very important when the child born everybody will looking into the child to see how the child is growing if the child doesn't grow we call it something wrong with the baby it's not a normal thing it is a abnormal thing when we plant a tree we always expect the tree to grow and bear fruit if that doesn't grow you know something is wrong anything on this earth friends god made everything to grow growth is one of the normal thing it doesn't grow it is actually abnormal and there is something wrong with it the same way we must grow in the anointing if we doesn't grow that doesn't call as a normal thing so today i'm going to talk to you how to grow in the anointing i believe this message will bless you and help you to grow in the anointing of the holy spirit for child to grow parents has to feed that child continually so the child will grow for tree to grow the water is needed for the tree to grow for everything we must do something from our side to make it grow the same way we must do something to grow in the anointing as well as friends so i hope you are going to be blessed by this word of god and before i get into the word of god i just want to ask you do you have a desire to grow in the anointing do you have a belief that you must grow or you can grow in the anointing if you have a desire to grow in the anointing then this message is just for you friends how to grow in the anointing four points i want to speak to you and pray with you number 1 if you want to grow in the anointing the most important thing is speaking in tongues speaking in tongues will help us to grow in our spirit man because the bible says so anybody who speaks in tongues he edifies himself his spirit man started growing his inner man started growing god has given a free gift of speaking in tongues if you are anointed by the holy spirit the lord has given you this the gift of tongues speaking in tongues is one of the great way for all of us to grow in the anointing friends you know speaking in tongues is amazing because the bible says when we speak in tongues we don't speak to man but we speak to god hallelujah what a joy to speak to god do you want to speak to god then stop other language start speaking in tongues because when you speak in tongue you directly speak to god and not only that the bible says we don't just speak to god but we speak to god mysteries secrets wow your spirit man understand the secrets of god when you speak in tongues speaking in tongues is helps us to grow in the anointing friends if you want you can check it out when you feel so tired when you're feeling that you are not able to pray and all those thing i tell you just start speaking in tongues for 5 minutes or 10 minutes within that time you will understand the things are changing you feel some energy is coming in you you feel atmosphere is changing you feel the holy spirit wrapping you with this presence that you will understand when you start speaking in tongues friends I know many many years back it's almost 25 years back I met a man of God I just asked him you know I was teenager all I had in my heart was how to live holy life 
So I went to the man of God, a great man of God, I don't want to mention his name. I went to him and I asked him, Sir, can you just help me out? How can I live a holy life? You know, this man of God looked at me and he smiled at me and he said one thing. And he told me, Brother, as you breathe, you start speaking in tongues. You never stop breathing, right? You continue breathe. So, start speaking in tongues, continue. That's what he said. And he called. You know, that day, I really couldn't understand what he was trying to tell me. But then later, as when I started speaking in tongues, then I understand the more we speak in tongues, it edifies our inner man. It helps us to grow in the anointing of the Holy Spirit. So, every time when you pray, pray in tongues. Every time when you come together to pray, pray in tongues. Keep some time just to pray in tongues. I encourage all of you. You know, one good part in speaking in tongues is you can speak in tongues every time. It's not only in the prayer time you should speak in tongues. No, while you are working, you can speak in tongues. While you are in the kitchen, you can speak in tongues. While you are driving, you can speak in tongues. You can speak in tongues anywhere, anyhow, anytime. There's no restriction. There's no pattern. There's no ways and methods to speak in tongues. But you can speak to God every time, anytime. That's a good part of speaking in tongues, friends. So you can do all other your work while you are still. You can speak to God through tongues, friends. So the more you speak in tongues, you will see the result. You will see the effect of speaking in tongues. Your spirit man become bigger and bigger and bigger. The anointing upon your life started growing. So as I'm speaking, you can start speaking in tongues right away, friends. And you will experience the changes happening when you start speaking in tongues. You know, some people are very shy speaking in tongues. They feel what others will think, you know, or what people will talk about me, all those things. If you feel shy speaking in tongues, in, in fact, speaking in tongues is speaking to God. If you feel shy of speaking to God, then just imagine what will happen. If you want to really grow one level to another level, if you really want to grow your anointing in your life, you must start speaking in tongues. Number two, you must have a desire, the hunger, the thirst for more. If you don't have a thirst for more, you cannot receive friends. The hunger and thirst for more will help us to grow more, will help us to grow in the anointing of the Holy Spirit. We must have hunger. We should not be satisfied. You know, I always say, we as the children of God, we must satisfy on these earthly things. Whatever God has given to us, we must satisfy. Desiring for more is not bad, but we must satisfy whatever God has given to us. But when it comes to spiritual things, you should never be satisfied. When you satisfy spiritually, that's the end of your spiritual life. A man, when he satisfies of his prayer life, when he satisfies of the ministry what he's doing, that is the end of his growth. That's the time the door shuts for him. But as long as he feels he need to pray more, he need to grow more, he need to come closer to God, he need to grow, grow, grow. As long as he had that thirst, as long as, as he has that hunger in his heart, he can keep growing. As David says, as the deer pants for the water, so my soul longs after you. You must long after him. You must long after his anointing. You must grow in the anointing. There must be a deep desire in our heart. There must be a deep desire. There must be hunger in our heart to grow in the anointing. Only those people who have hunger to grow, they shall grow friends. You know, I still remember in early my ministry, I used to run behind the people. You know, in 1995, when Benny and Pastor Benin came to Chennai, I went to Chennai. I want to meet him. I ran to the stage on the last day of the meeting. I and my friend, we ran to the stage to 
at least to touch him. Stage got broken because so many of people like us, they also ran to the stage. You know why? Somehow we should touch him. We should receive that anointing. You know, the same year, evangelist Reynard Bonke came to Bangalore, palace crowd when he was preaching. You know, I want to touch him. We couldn't touch it. Finally, we did uh, something. At least we should touch his car. We ran behind that car, friends. Almost two kilometers. At least to touch the car. We never left any man of God coming and going without touching us. We believe that when they touch us, when they lay hand on us, we shall receive the more anointing. You know, I'm not telling you, you should go behind a man of God. Those days, I didn't know. Our anointing comes from the Lord Jesus Christ. So I went behind the people. The point what I'm making is that hunger, the thirst for more, that hunger for more made us to do that. And that helped us to pray more. That helped us to seek God more. That helped us to grow in the anointing. The hunger you should have. You should not feel satisfied. You may pray three hours also, but you should not be satisfied hunger for more will help us to grow more in the anointing hallelujah don't be satisfied of casting out few demons don't be satisfied of healing few people don't be satisfied of praying few hours don't be satisfied of praying with fasting few days don't be satisfied of preaching the gospel with a few people don't be satisfied of all the growth that we have you shall have you should have hunger in your heart more and more that you should grow more and more that you should closer to god more and more you should fast more and more you should seek his face you should the kind of hunger as i speak may god give you that hunger it's not a one day or two day friends a lifetime we must keep this temperature we must keep this hunger we must keep this thirst for all our lifetime many people we lose that hunger as we grow in the ministry as we grow in faith we lose that anointing 10 years become children of god 20 years become believers they lose that first love that hunger for god i pray god will give you the restoration of hunger for god's things in your life number one speaking in tongues will help us to grow in the anointing Number two, the hunger for more, the thirst, the desire for more will help us to grow more in the anointing. You know, when Elijah was going, Elisha was, went behind him. In fact, Elijah told, stay back, but he don't want to stay back. He was running behind that man of God. And finally, Elijah opened mouth and asked, what do you want? Why are coming after me? And that answer was tip of his tongue he immediately said i need a double portion of your spirit french the hunger made him to run behind him there was 50 more prophets they also knew elijah is going to take up but they were folding hand and they were watching what's going to happen but they didn't receive the spirit of elijah but the man who went behind elijah he received the spirit of elijah only the hungry people will be fed. Only people who are thirsty, they can drink. So have hunger for God and God's things more and more in these days. May God give you that passion. May God give you that hunger in your heart today as I speak to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Third thing, we must use every gift, every talent, every anointing the Lord has given to us. If we don't use, we cannot grow. You know, Jesus given a classic example. He shared a parable. He told a man, a master, and gave him one five talents, another one two talents, another one one talent. And he went and came back. When he came back, he looked at the fire and asked what happened. He told, Sir, with your five talents, I earned five more. He looked at two and he asked what happened. This man said, Lord, you give me two. I earned two more. But other one, he said, No, no. I know you are a rash, very harsh man. So 
I just kept it secretly, safely. See here, it's your talent. You know, the master got so angry. You would have invested in the bank. At least I would have got the interest for that. But you did this. So he pulled it from his hand and he given to the man who had already, who has 10. Friends, when you don't use, we start losing that anointing. You must use whatever the anointing God has given to you. You must use whatever talent God has given to you. You must use every grace that God has. You know, there's no one on this earth born without talent. Do you believe that? God has not created any man on this earth without grace, without talent, without, without his blessings. There's some or other area that person will be stronger. That person will capable of doing something or other thing. You must find it out and use it for God's glory. Only when you use the anointing, it will produce more fruit and you can grow in the anointing. I encourage you, don't wait for somebody. If you have anointing, use it for God's glory. If you have a healing gift, pray for the sick people. Lay hand and pray. And then only that anointing of healing will grow in you more and more. If you have a prophecy gift, prophesy to people. Then only that prophetic will become more stronger and more clearer. If you are praying spirit, pray more. Then that praying spirit will make you a man of prayer. When you are singing grace, sing more. When you are technical grace, do for God's kingdom. When you have a administration grace, do it. When you have a cleaning, you are able to clean, do it. Whatever God has given to you, just do it with all your heart. Because the more you use what God has given to you, the more you can grow in that. Even God has given to money, use it for His kingdom. If He given to knowledge, use it for His kingdom. Anything the Lord has given to you, you must use it for the expansion of the kingdom of God. The more you use, the more you will expand. You understand what I'm talking This principle can be applied for anything in your life. If you want to grow in any area of your life, you must use what God already given to you. The more you use, the anointing will increase in your life. You know, whomever God has called in the Bible, God used them with what they had. When God called Moses, God didn't tell him something extra. God told him, the stuff what is in your hand, I'm going to use it. Anybody in the Bible, take them and see, God used as they are and what they had. So, the more you use the grace, the talents, the anointing, the more you shall grow in the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hope this message is blessing you, friends. We are talking about how to grow in the anointing. Number one, if you want to grow in the anointing, speak in tongues daily. Number two, if you want to grow in the anointing, have hunger for more, desire for more, longing for more. Number three, if you want to grow in the anointing, use what already God has given to you. Number four, very importantly, don't defile the anointing. It's very important, friends. We can defile our anointing. If you ask me how, I'll explain to you. Paul writes to Galatians and says, you guys started in the spirit, but when you ended in the flesh, we all with hunger, we receive the gifts and grace and anointing. But how we are using, it dictates and it tells us, are we defiling our anointing or not? Just imagine, see, I have a prophetic anointing. If some people coming to me for prayer, I'm praying and prophesying. Why I'm prophesying? Why God has given that gift? Is given to edify the body of Christ. He given that gift to encourage the church. So when I prophesy, my intention of prophesying is encourage them, defying them, wiping away their tears. Even, even now before I speak to you, I met a couple came with a broken heart 
I spent quality time. I prophesied over them. Why? The intention is simple. The God has given grace to edify the body of Christ. But just imagine if I'm using that gift, that anointing, prophetic anointing, to show the world that I am a prophet of God. I am a great man of God. Or if I think if I prophesy, they will give me offering more. If my intention is wrong, that means I am defiling the anointing. See, gifts of God is irrevocable. It has not been taken back, but it can be defiled. It can be affected. That's why the Bible says, don't, don't quench the spirit. Friends, Holy Spirit is very sensitive. Don't hurt him. So every gift that God has given to you, you must protect with a good conscience and the intention. What we are doing, with what intention, with what goal, focus is very, very important. Many people, as they grow in the light, as they grow in the anointing, as they grow in the ministry, they lose this grace, friends. Let's be very careful. Tell the Lord everything that you've given to me, I will use it just for you and to build your kingdom and lift up your name and I will follow your footsteps. And that's how we are to behave and protect. The more you protect that anointing, the anointing will grow more. Because if you don't protect that anointing, you'll actually you'll start losing that effect of that anointing. The sharpness of that anointing, the power in that anointing, the punch, the grace in that message will start losing, friends. Hope this word of God blessed you. I'm going to pray with you today. Four points, don't forget. How to grow in the anointing. Number one, speak in tongues. Number two, have a hunger for more. Number three, Use what the Lord has given to you. Number four, don't defile the anointing. When you look into these four things and when you put these four things into practice, I tell you, your spirit man will start growing. The anointing upon your head will start growing. And you will say, as David says, Psalm 23, 5, The Lord anoints my head with oil and my cup overflows. That will be your testimony that will be your song. You may be not understood what I am speaking. Maybe those who are watching, you may not anointed by the Holy Spirit. You may not speaking in tongues. Don't worry. I am going to pray with you. The Holy Spirit will come upon you. Because anybody who asks shall receive the Holy Spirit. I am going to pray with you. The Holy Spirit will come to you. As Paul, as Apostle says, receive the Holy Spirit. People received it. I'm going to say to you, receive the Holy Spirit and you shall receive the Holy Spirit. And not only that, you'll start speaking in tongues. Very simple. Open your mouth widely. The Lord will fill your mouth. Hallelujah. Those who are not received the anointing, get ready. I'm going to pray. You shall receive. Those who are not speaking in tongues, get ready. I'm going to pray that you shall receive tongues, speaking in tongues. And those who already received, hunger for more as I'm going to pray with you. The Holy Spirit is going to fill you so much. And you're going to say, my cup is overflowing. Friends, honestly saying, I'm preaching this gospel. I'm in this ministry last 27 years. This is 27th year is running. But I, every time when I pray, my heart cries for more. I have that hunger. I have that desire. That's what I could be able to talk to you. I don't preach what I don't practice, friends. I practice, then I preach. So every message I preach, I preach with my experience. I preach with all my heart that I want you to be blessed. I want you to receive the same blessing that I have received from the Lord. And I want you to do more than what I am doing for the Lord. 
So I'm going to pray with you now. The Holy Spirit is going to touch you. Come on, let's pray. Lift your hand. Hallelujah. Lord, I pray for everybody. Those who are not received the Holy Spirit, let them receive your anointing. I say to you, friends, receive the Holy Spirit. Receive the anointing in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, I'm praying. Those who are not able to speak in tongues, let their tongues be loosened right now. Let the mouth be filled right now let them start speaking in tongues right now in the name of jesus christ of nazareth lord already those anointed i pray pour out more let their cups overflow let their cups overflow as you poured your anointing upon aaron and it was overflowing all over him overflowing capacity fill them fill them right now i pray Pray, Father, that they will grow in the anointing of the Holy Spirit. They will grow in the anointing of the Holy Spirit. From this very moment, I want to see them growing in the anointing of the Holy Spirit for your glory and for your honor. Thank you, Jesus, for teaching us, Lord. Thank you, for Lord, that you are opening our eyes to understand the spiritual things, Lord. We give you glory, honor, praise. In Jesus' precious name, I pray. Amen and Amen. Friends, you all are tremendously blessed today. Keep hearing this message till you'll be putting everything into practice. And may God help you that every day you will grow and continually growing in the anointing and do great exploit on this earth for Jesus and his kingdom. God bless all of you. See you all next week. God bless you. Bye bye. Praise the Lord. Kartanali Priti Ula, Ella Vision TV Vik Shakarige, East Sukristan Esterinali, Nan Vandana Terestadene, Priti Vik Shakre, Nimeller go thanks to the Kista Partene, Eugene TV in East to the Sun, you prosaisi, Namana Ella Ritil Sahaya Marta, the Bartero the Kagin and Vandana Terestan, Aderitiagi, New Kelo Unun the Wakagalge, Nichuagin the Mahatmon and a build mark called Tedra, Cut Colta either and Budagin and Nambitene. Astelade, Nima Age, Ashiro, the Undukolo, the K, Radir Vantani Masne, Terige, Adana, you forward Madi, in the Saskare Madal Tirisi, Matanamjot, and you Kaijo, same with Agnan Kerkol Tedene. God bless you, there Nimuna bless Madly.